Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, let's see. Look, there's a dead guy. Should have followed the signs. I saw all the scorpions along the way. Where's scorpions? Oh, yeah, I saw all the scorpions, and then I saw all the skeleton, and I don't have my little exploder thingy anymore. I'll keep an eye out for the powder gangers and meet up with you and Ringo when the time comes. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Wow, Chet seems like a real dick. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Alright. Um. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. All right. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. All right. My my game has seemed to have frozen. Would you please not? Most of what's in there is junk, but. There's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. Alright. Um. What is. Where are they going on? I. 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 I don't know. I don't know. What. What has happened? Oh no. You're the judge. Oh no. Please don't tell me I'm gonna have to. Alright. So we need to convince Trudy and Easy Pete and Chat, who seems like a real douchebag, to help us with the power gangers. Alright. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Uh, we're a little outnumbered against the powder gang. W think you can help? All the more reason for me to sit this one. Ah, <sighs> alright, uh... Be careful out Let's go get a speech book. Oh, I forgot my sprint doesn't work on here. Lovely. Alright, time to talk to Ringo. What up, buddy? So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? So he's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Well, I already talked to everyone else, so let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Thank you. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. All right. I'm ready, you better oh, be too. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Alright. Let's... I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, 
These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Uh, didn't I hear something earlier about you not being able to pay me now? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. Sure will. Goodbye. Small. What is it? Spring. Spring something. Spring. Good springs. Good springs. Goodbye, good springs. Hello to what I believe to uh, me already seeing Prim all the way down there. Alright. Before you venture deeper in the wasteland. I'm okay with how my character is. Let's do this. Alright, looks like we are headed east. We're headed west, my friends. East. I have some enemies. Oh. Oh, wait, what? I'm out of ammo? Hold on. I know. Energy cells. Alright, well. Oh, I thought that was me. Alright, well. Ooh, I leveled up. All right. Weren't there two of you? Ah, oh, there's your body. All right. Something tells me that's the Powder Ganger's area right there, because that looks to be like a prison. <laughs> looks to be a... Oh, okay. Yeah, see, because it looks like a prison. I think that's the Powder Ganger's area. Yep, that's power gangers in there. Let's stay heading east. I like the sound of staying east. Alright. Okay. Yep, that's disconcerting. Minus that shot I just missed. That's beside the point. <laughs> Danger. Danger's my middle name. I will run from danger. Danger runs from me. There's something is screaming for me to run at the moment. Oh, there's an underground facility. This must be a... This must be a vault. Wow. Okay. It's a, it's a bunker. Okay, something tells me I'm going to the depths of hell in here. Alright. Well, so far no enemies. What is this? 
Well, what do we in these crates? Alright. Okay. Read journal. This location looks like it might be a good <coughs> safe house. Warm, dry, and some sort of crazy natural phenomenon at night that should keep the predators away. Oh, I'd love to start getting up or setting up, but there's a few nearby points of interest I need to gather intel from first. Not sure how long it'll take. Oh, you died. You died, didn't you? Yep, there's blood. No, that's not blood. Is that blood? I can't tell. Hmm. Mm, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. You hear nothing. Hello? You hear nothing. Okay, yeah, I'm not getting in here anytime soon. What is this? My nose smells. Oh. Actually. I did it. Um, I'm good. I'm good. I'm the best around. Nothing can stop me. Except for maybe a bullet to the head, but I'm too good for bullets to the head. Obviously, because I survived a bullet to the head. You know why? Because I got a hard head. I'm hard-headed. I rush in without even thinking about things. Like bullets to the head. That's a skeleton. Oh. Something tells me I really don't want to be here. That was weird looking. That was really weird looking. I probably should have just stayed to the road. Oh, and I'm lagging too. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's you! Wow, you are weird looking. Ow! Ow! There are a lot of you now. I'm walking away. Oh! 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 Should just stay to the road. Probably should just stay to the road. Okay. All right. I I have no right away. Poisoning, but at least now I seem to be at better health. Alright, I probably should have chosen the death looking route. Good thing there's another passageway right over here. No, 
Oh my god. Scorpion Gulch. I knew this was death. Oh no. Oh no. I have legitimately found death. This is exactly what I did not want to find. And I found it both ways. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, let's see. Look, there's a dead guy. Should have been. Followed the signs. I saw all the scorpions along the way. Or scorpions. Oh, yeah, I saw all the scorpions, and then I saw all the skeleton, and I don't have my little exploder thingy anymore. Whoa. This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. What, do you, what makes this a dangerous place? You must have heard her radio broadcast. The why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. How did Tabitha end up with control? For years, Black Mountain was a peaceful community. Its leader, Marcus, broadcast an invitation to mutants throughout the wasteland. That's how I found Black Mountain. So did others, most of them second generation mutants. Marcus welcomed everyone. That was his mistake. The community ended up being mostly second gen, not very bright, but easy to influence. Fine until the Nightkin came along, led by Tabitha. In a week, she had most of the second gens thinking she was some kind of prophet, and that she should be broadcasting her truth, not Marcus. Marcus saw what was coming and decided to leave before things got out of hand. He smashed the radio and left to found Jacobstown. You say Marcus smashed the radio. Not very well, apparently. <laughs> There's a sad story behind that. Marcus smashed it just fine, but while we were gone, some ghoul named Raul came along. Tabitha turned him into her personal mechanic. A slave, really. See, if I'd been standing down here, I could have warned him before it was too late. Oh, poor Raul. Uh, why are you here instead of Jacobstown? Marcus sent me here a couple of months ago to check on Black Mountain. I suppose you could say I came here as a spy. Ah. But with no signs of Tabitha's weakening and none of the second gens ready to revolt or to come to Jacobstown, there wasn't much I could do. Down here, on the other hand, I've saved a dozen mutants from heading up the mountain. It's not much, but it's something. I have my own reasons to stay away from Jacobstown for a while. Reasons we won't be discussing. So I've stayed here. Thanks for the warning, but, uh, well, actually. But what sort of trouble, uh, should I expect if I head up? The road is a series of switchbacks up to the peak. <coughs> there are three blockades plus patrols. Sneaking past them would be... difficult. Just before the peak is a kind of shanty village. More second gens there. And then there's Tabitha's compound. Heavily guarded by her nightkin. You seem friendly for me. Keep saying things like that and I won't be so friendly. Not every super mutant is a brain damaged brute. Many of us are just as intelligent as basic humans, and the rest don't really have any choice in the matter, do they? Sorry about that, no infin uh Oh. Sorry about that, no inf uh, no offense intended. And none taken, since you apologized. Tell me about the nightkin. The Nightkin are vicious in combat, and that's if you see them coming. Most don't. They were created to be soldiers and given devices to camouflage them in battle. Unfortunately, the devices drove most of them mad over time. They spend most of their time at the top of the mountain, but patrol the roads after dark as well. You do well to avoid the mountain at night. Um... 
Where did you, oh, where did you check it this time? The opposite of Black Mountain. A stable community of mutants, mostly. Led by a mentally stable leader. Humans are welcome there, so long as they behave themselves. Look northwest of Red Rock Canyon if you want to find it. Okay. Let's see if this works. Hmm. <laughs> While your enthusiasm is admirable, I think I'd best stay here so I can warn other travelers. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. It was at this moment that he knew. He that fucked up. Kind of saddening, considering I'd have to continue to go around. All right. All right. Whoa, wait. Oh. 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 Thank you.